I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. <laughs> sign this too. <laughs> we protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Bye. It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me I'm 10 steps ahead of you you're not big on trust are you you can trust me Loki I've studied almost every moment of your entire life you've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times I never do it again Welcome back, everyone, to another Loki trailer breakdown. So I did do one of these videos, like, all the way back in, like, December, I think. So we do need to go over this trailer, because they did drop another one. And I will probably make another video for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Not for episode four, but for a different video, because I want to talk about the ending scene. But yeah. So the trailer opens with these, like, little, like, circle things, and then they open... And then it has a little, like, ding, you know? And then it looks like, just like an elevator. And then, so this guard stole the, the, took the Tesseract. And Loki is also in prison. Now, I'm pretty sure Loki woke up in the Gobi Desert in his, uh, in the trailer. Because that's probably where he is right now. And then he probably got captured by her. But yeah. And then, this place is. and then he already says that he knows what the place is. So that means... Maybe, like, on Asgard, he actually might have known something. Like, maybe he had... Maybe he actually might have actually known something about it. But I'm not sure, though. And then those, um, those statues look very similar to King the Conqueror. Now, King the Conqueror is very associated with the Timekeepers or the Time Cops or the TVA, whatever. He's associated with them because he is associated with time itself. So obviously, Kang is obviously on their radar, and it's possible that that if Loki is able to um to um to beat the villain of this first season, then probably Kang might be the true villain of the series because Kang is going to show up in Ant Man three. So obviously, he has to show up somewhere else first. And Loki was was like one of the one was like one of the original shows that was announced at Comic Con, but yeah. Timekeepers have built quite the circus. Now this looks very similar to the Doctor Strange door in um, Sanctum, but yeah, the like it looks very similar, like visually. But yeah, and then now a lot of people speculate that um that um this that um Gugu Mbathra is playing um Kang the Conqueror's like uh, lover because uh, in the comics Kang is being uh com in the comics Kang does have a lover where uh. Where he actually conquered her world, and he and then he basically made her his bride. But yeah, anyway, and then also how notice how the lips are over hers, so that might be possible. And I see the clowns are playing their parts. And then notice how there's like more of these guards, which are right here. And then there's also uh, Mobius in the back here. So yeah. Then all these prisoners are right here. 
Which this guy, who has very similar hair to Loki, actually, honestly. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound. Mobius seems to have a lot of scenes with Loki in this, so when you watch the show, just make sure to watch for that. And they do have Super a lot of I funny scenes. I know. Okay. Okay. He falls. Now that cat might not actually be a real cat. I think it actually might be a flurkin. Now a flurkin is like the animal that it will not really know. It's like an alien that is used that was seen in Captain Marvel, the one that scratched Fury's eye out. But yeah, so that might be possible. And then uh, I cannot remember, but I've seen this guy somewhere before. But yeah, I re I remember seeing him somewhere, but I just can't remember where. Oh wait, this guy showed up in uh, Cobra Kai Season 1. He was that guy who tried to get Johnny's rent. Yeah, that's where he showed up. He was in Cobra Kai Season 1, and now he's showing up in Loki Season 1. Oh, that's this is absurd. Yes, that is absurd, Loki. Anyway. Sign this too. Also, I will point out when it, when it, when it comes to the Marvel thing, when when they when they did this for Falcon and Winter Soldier, it turned red and then now it's turning green. Well, no, no, not red. It was turning blue. It was turning blue and then for this one it's turning green. So yeah. We protect. And oh, these are probably where the timeline starts to split up. As you can see, like there's like a little like there's a little like loop and then it's about to split. The proper flow of time. Now these logos show up on like almost all the TVs where it says A12 and then it says A10. So that means there's probably an A11 on the other side. You picked up. Now Mobius basically the gives him like a presentation reality. of his life and he shows him escaping. I want you to and then these are all the timelines, which you is really the interesting. And there's a lot of talk about reality. these. So these are probably timelines. This is probably the main one that I'm low-key caused because it's in like the middle. But what's weird is that how come timelines in the past are being affected? Like for example, everything should have stayed the same up until that point. Now it's possible that um some of these were caused by Steve Rogers because everybody after Endgame was like, wait a minute, so Steve like messed up the whole timeline. It's possible that Loki has to fix that because of what Cab did. And yeah, because and also what the Avengers did too, because they were messing up everywhere. Like for example, um, one of these arrows back here could be from like 1917. Also, if you notice, this one's about to split too. So it's possible that the people in the future used time travel and they came back here and they started messing around with it. And um, and that's also possible. Another possibility is that all of these lines are affected by the Avengers because these are some of the alternate timelines the Avengers created or some of them that Steve Rogers created. Because remember, we never saw what happened with Steve. We did see how the Avengers, we, we did watch the Avengers get the Infinity Stones, but we never saw how they were put back. So, like, we don't really know. I want you to help us fix it. And then Mobius wants them to help him fix it. And it's kind of crazy because... There's like a lot of talk about it. This is probably the Bifrost because um, it's not the Tesseract. The Tesseract does not work like that. Like the Bifrost is how that works. Or um, yeah, because that's how people in Asgard Money. they travel. I need your unique Loki perspective. That's fun. <laughs> and then um, so these guards. I'm ass I'm assuming that like they're invisible because like obviously people can't see this. Now I think I know where this location is. This has to be Rome. Because later on, I'll tell you why, but yeah. This is Rome, I think. And then this is on June 11th, which is perfect. And then we get the Rocks Cart, which is what we did last time. Rocks Cart might be like another company like Amazon, but it's in the MCU, but yeah. And then this is obviously Loki. I mean, nobody wields daggers like that except for Loki, so yeah. Believe in this Loki variant. And he also flips the knives in one of the other shots. Now this is pr the hooded figure from the last trailer. This is probably female Loki, and um, I will get to that later because there's a lot of speculation about who one of those characters in the trailer might be. And then there's also clocks in the background too. And then now this is probably in a timeline where Loki might have succeeded, so that might actually be one of the timelines later because all those timelines splitting up in that one shot might be from later on in the show like maybe me even like from the from like the few, last episodes like for example falcon and winter soldier they did this a lot wandavision did this a little bit but not as much like for example wandavision's trailers they showed most footage 
from episode one and two, well, Falcon and Winter Soldier showed like epi- showed stuff from like from uh from episode two, but all the way to like later stuff. So yeah, like for example, we got we barely got any shots from episode one. That's all I'm gonna say. And then this is probably this is Loki, obviously, because he has the tie and stuff like that. This is probably where he succeeded because, as you can see, the Avengers Tower is literally crumbled, and there's also like other debris and all that stuff. Luckily, he believes in himself enough. And then this is probably uh, Gugum and Minbathra's character. I can't pronounce her name. For the both of us. And then uh, she looks she looks like she's ready to throw down with Loki because remember Loki flips knives like it's literally his, his primary weapon. Like Cap's primary weapon is his shield. Thor's is his hammer. Also, he uses he even he, he even knows how to use daggers ever since he was a kid because um I'm pretty sure Thor's story confirms that where he says stuff like oh when I, when I was little I used to love snakes and then Loki turned into a snake and then I went up to admire it and he's like ah at me and he stabbed me. Bye. Oh that was also funny too. Then this is probably the stuff from uh the stuff from all that pink world and stuff like that right there. That might actually be. From somewhere like in that same shot with uh with a lot of people think it's Black Widow. This is also the hooded figure. I think this is probably female Loki. It's also possible that we might actually get a darker, like more darker version of Loki. Cause this is we're getting alternate versions of Loki people. So we're not we're not just having the main Tom Hiddleston one. Like we're getting other versions. Like for example, there's also a character named Kid Loki who is also who is also trying to, and then also later on, we're probably going to get a President Loki probably later on, but yeah. It's adorable. So, that you think. and then also, we actually get a clear shot of female Loki, which I think some people might have actually missed it, because this is obviously female Loki. Or at least I think so, but I'm not sure though. That you think you could possibly manipulate me. See, uh, notice how Loki and Mobius has lots of scenes together. Which basically proves. Also, it looks like Loki just got here because there's obviously the door that was that showed up at the beginning of the trailer with the ding, and then yeah, and then oh, he just walks in there, and then after that, uh, Mobius, and they catch him. I think Mobius knows now that um, Loki cannot be trusted when he just saw that, but yeah. Now this actually might be Asgard, but there's a lot of speculation for the reasons why it could not be. There's lots of reasons why it might actually not be Asgard. There's a lot of reasons why this might not actually be Asgard because this doesn't look anything like Asgard. So it's possible that like this is Asgard from like a long time ago because honestly I've never seen a throne like that before. So like what's the point of that, you know? So like I've literally never seen I've literally never seen a um I've never seen Asgard or like a never another throne like that. So I don't know where to pronounce it. Also there's these games right here in the audio and computers. So I'm watching this now at 0.25x speed because I want to uh, analyze this more. There's actually two, actually, there's actually like four or five people in here. And it looks like they're all bowing down. This might be a version from Loki in the past where he might actually have actually got Asgard. Or alternative, another alternative is that Loki is now in, um, it's also possible that Maybe, um, this is actually, like, one of Loki's, like, relatives, maybe, or his uncle. Maybe, like, this is, this is actually the darker Loki. Because, in the comics, Loki has never had a chance to rule Asgard. While, for some reason, it, it's pretty easy for him either. So, this could be a version where he never got to rule. Because, in the comics, he's never able to rule Asgard. It takes him, like, so long. And, like, Loki was introduced in, like, the 1960s. And he never actually ruled Asgard till like, the 2000s. To, like, the 2000s and all that stuff. And that's kind of sad. Anyway, and then, let's see, and then, there isn't really much to go on here, so, yeah, and then, so, yeah, this is probably Asgard, but from a while ago, because, remember, Asgard's destroyed right now, so, yeah, Asgard is pretty much destroyed right now, so, yeah, and then, this is what really confuses me, because I have no idea where this place can be. Now, I don't know who that character is. I, I've heard of the actor. I just don't... I don't know every single actor in this series. Like, I know some of them, but I just don't know all of them. I can't remember them. This is probably President Loki, because obviously... I told you in the last one that there's a vote for Loki. This is probably the same scene where the Avengers Tower is, like, crumbling apart, but yeah. Big on trust, are you? Right as he said, we're not big on trust, and they all betray him. But yeah, this is in that same fight scene where Loki kicks the guy, and he flies out, and he's like, bye. 
Anyway. And then Loki also uses magic, which we never really see him do because mostly his magic is just stuff like, um, he, was, he usually j just makes illusions or whatever. Like, we never actually see the color of his powers. Like, for example, we always see how Wanda shoots it. Like, Wanda does do illusions, but, like, she also uses her powers like she actually throws them at people. Like, she also throws them at people, so, yeah. So, obviously, yeah. So, like, having Loki here use his powers right now might actually be better. Now, this possible that he might be rebelling against the time range story because it's Loki. He's gonna betray you eventually. He's literally like Zemo. Also, this version of the DB Cooper Loki might actually be a different version. You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire. This is probably the scene where Mobius is trying to tell him where we have to like get we have to get the um. We need to uh, stop these other versions of you, which I do think is the main plot of the series. But yeah, life, you've literally stabbed people in the back like fifty times. Why never do it again? Then he wears it. Then also, this fight scene might be in that same scene where he connects with. Uh... Never do it again. Actually, I'm gonna put this at zero point uh, point two five speed. Yeah. So this scene is probably this scene we're probably we're probably going to see Loki's like knife fighting skills a lot better because uh and then this is also in that same scene where uh he connects with female Loki because notice how um the Loki has the same clothes as he did in that last shot like see how he has clothes here and then right there too so yeah, they're all the same. Like, and no, I don't actually, and I don't actually think they like. He he's basically gonna be like some sort of Disney character, where where he basically wears the same clothes like for the whole show, cause that'd be crazy. And then we all see Gugum and Bathra's character ready. I think what ended up happening in that scene, where I think what happened right there is that Loki tried to fight her, but then she's ending up holding him neck there. So I think I think that's what's actually happening, cause. Notice how she holds it and she's angry and she has like a baton that has like an electric thing at the end. Or if he touches Loki, or she touches Loki, and then what ends up happening is Loki gets electrocuted. But yeah. And then this weird move right here is really weird. And then now here's why it's Pompeii. Number one, uh, Pompeii is actually a real location for those of you who don't know. And it's actually part of... It's in Rome, and it's in Italy. So, a long time ago, during 79 AD, it got, it got, uh, it got destroyed by this mountain called Mount, Mount, Mount Vesuvius. I cannot pronounce that. And then, what ended up happening was, Loki ended up having to, uh, he probably came here during this time period, and he's like, hi! And then he's just watching everything crumble, because, every, yeah, and then everything starts to flicker around, and then, yeah. Because Loki is a shapeshifter, so this whole, th so like the little like thing right there is meant to show how he's a shapeshifter, cause he does do that a lot. In fact, there was actually an Endgame theory, and then there's also this cracked one right here, which could probably, which might be able to represent the crack in uh the flow of time. So yeah, just saying. Anyway, that was the Loki trailer, and uh, it was amazing. Now I will, I love the score. And, um, yeah, subscribe to my channel, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you.